this is going to be the next line of the sniper, and you can see it from a D4 move order or C4. So if C4, we're still going, yep, like with the G6, knight C3. And if he goes knight F3, we still get to the normal structure. Now, you're going to want to go to what's called the Fisher English, which looks like this, which has the flexibility to play D5 or F5. In every variation white will play, unless he plays D4 immediately. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So in this position right now, white has the ability to play D4. So if he plays E3, he's clearly telegraphing that he's going to go D4 next. If he plays D4, we have transposed back into the line we just looked at in the last video. So now we look at if he doesn't play d4. If e3, you want to go knight f6, d4, takes, takes, and then d5, and you just have a playable position. You just develop your pieces normal, and this is a colors reverse tarash. So in this position, if they go g3, we're going to beeline. Oh, this knight wasn't supposed to be here. I messed up. Okay. So in this position, we're going to beeline to this Fisher English, which is this position again. And notice how there is no d4 anymore, because you got pawn, knight, and bishop all covering it, but he only has two supporters of d4 being played. And so say the way he typically goes there, play d3, we castle, he goes bishop g5, you can play h6, bishop d2, and you can play for d5 immediately, or play b6, bishop b7, and then d5. And this is the Fisher English structure. You know, if he plays a move like Queen C1, don't forget that that guy's hanging. Just play King H7 and then go back to your plan. D5, D4, or take here. Very annoying. All right, one.